Good day, great and art warriors. It's me, Jericho Pontipiedra, your companion to Wonder Arts Adventure. Learn new things that makes our world more colorful and wonderful. Because in Deaf and Valenzuela Live, great and arts is fun. So buckle up and get ready to explore the technology-based arts. Before we start, let us first be reminded once again with the protocols to follow during the live streaming class. First, respect everyone. Second, no hate speech. Third, be guided with the anti-cyber bullying law. Fourth, no promotion of products or items. Fifth, use appropriate words in giving suggestions, comments, and queries. Six, after the FB live streaming, attend the discussion class in the FB Messenger classroom with your subject teacher. I hope everyone will be guided by the protocols for us to maintain the orderliness during our session. So allow me to give you the competencies that you are about to develop in our discussion. First, identify art elements in the technology-based production arts. Second, identify existing characteristics of arts during the 21st century in terms of production and functionality range of audience reach. Third, identify artworks produced by technology from other countries and their adaptation by Philippine artists. Fourth, discusses the concept that technology is an effective and vibrant tool for empowering a person to express his or her ideas, goals, and advocacies, which elicits immediate action. And fifth, explains the role or function of artworks by evaluating their utilization and combination of art elements and principles. Let us have a warm-up activity. This game is entitled Fact or Bluff. Within 5 seconds, you need to identify whether each statement is a fact or bluff. You may type your answers in the comments section below. If you get a perfect score, you will get an Art Warrior badge. Are you ready? Let's begin with number 1. Computer or digital arts makes use of electronic and mechanical devices rather than the artist's own hand to produce the desired images and effects. Time is up. If your answer is fact, you are correct. Let's proceed to number 2. Computer art or digital art first came on the scene in the early 1200s. Time is up. If your answer is bluff, excellent, you got it right. Because computer art or digital art first came on the scene in the early 1960s. Moving on with number 3. Computer-generated imagery is the application of computer graphics to create or contribute to images in art, printed media, video games, simulators, computer animations, and video effects in films, television programs, short commercials, and videos. Time is up! The correct answer is fact. Excellent! Most of you got the correct answer. Next, let us have number 4. A digital single lens camera is a digital camera that combines with the optic and the mechanism of a single lens reflex camera with a digital imaging sensor. Time is up! If your answer is fact, Marvelous, you got it right! And last, number 5, painters and sculptors who had access to computer and experience with the hardware are the first ones to experiment in digital arts. Time is up! 
If your answer is bluff, absolutely you are correct because it is the engineers and scientists are the first ones to experiment in digital arts. Congratulations! It's nice that you have a good strategy for identifying fact and bluff statements. With that, you have earned your first Art Warrior badge. Keep it up! Let us have another mind-blowing exercise, Art Warriors. This activity is called Painting Mania. All you need to do is to guess the art movement or the painting style. You will be given 10 seconds for you to appraise the painting. If you get the perfect score, you will be given an Art Warrior badge. Let's begin with the first painting of Claude Monet's impression, Sunrise. Time is up? If your answer is Impressionism, that is correct. Let's proceed with the second painting, The Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. Time is up? Superb! The correct answer is Post-Impressionism. Let's move on with the next painting, The Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali. Time is up? If your answer is Surrealism, Magnificent, your answer is right! Our next painting is Girl Before a Mirror by Pablo Picasso. Time is up? Excellent! The correct answer is Cubism. Going on to the last painting. The Hills of Nico by our National Artist for Visual Arts Painting, Jose Hoya. Time is up! If your answer is Abstractionism, amazing! You are correct! Congratulations, you have a great mind in appraising paintings. With that, you have earned your second Art Warrior badge. Before we proceed with our discussion, let us have a game called Logo Quiz. All you need to do is to identify the logo presented within 5 seconds. You may comment your answers in the comment box. If you get a perfect score, you will be given an Art Warrior badge. Are you ready? Let's begin! Let us start with logo number 1. Time is up? Wonderful! The correct answer is Photogrid. Let's proceed to logo number 2. Time is up? If your answer is Adobe Photoshop, impressive! You got it right! Moving on with logo number 3. Time is up? Marvelous! The correct answer is Pixar. Up next, logo number 4. Time is up? If your answer is Snapseed, superb! You got it right! And for the last logo, logo number 5. Time is up? Amazing! The correct answer is Visco. Congratulations! With your sharp memory, you earned your third Art Warrior Badge. 
Awesome! Technology has literally taken over every aspect of life in the 21st century, and the creative and visual arts have not been spared. In fact, for the younger generations, art as you know, it is defined by technology from its creation to its manipulation to its reproduction and even to its distribution. Photogrid, Adobe Photoshop, PixArt, Snapseed, and Visco are few of the many photo manipulating applications that can be downloaded straight to our mobile phone. These applications are used for enhancing and creating technology-based arts. First, we have computer or digital arts. Digital arts is a work made with digital technology or presented on digital technology. This includes images done completely on computer or hand-drawn images scanned into a computer and finish using a software program like Adobe Illustrator. In short, digital art is a sort of merger between arts and technology. Computer or digital art first came on the scene in the early 1960s. Understandably, this was due to the technology that was constantly developing and that became available at that time. Thus, the early experimenters were not necessarily artists but engineers and scientists who had access to and experience with the hardware needed. They began to recognize the potential of artistic expression through the application of scientific and mathematical principles. In fact, even in the sample works, you will note a strong scientific or mathematical look and feel the creations of many digital artists. Geometric forms and repeating patterns appear frequently. More traditional subjects like human beings, landscape, animals, and still life elements are simply incorporated as a part of those forms and patterns, rather than as the focus. Let us meet some of the various artists and their remarkable artworks. First, we have Polygon Drawings by Pryder Nate created on 1965. We have also Shooter or Gravel by George Nies, created in 1965. Another digital work here is The Odre by Vera Molnar, created in 1974 through the use of Plotter Machine. And last, the computer-generated 3D art called Mountain and Starlight by Ronald Davies, created in 1997. In our country, Filipino artists were likewise influenced by technology trend in art. However, this was more in commercial sphere. From 1960s to the 1990s, computer-generated works were primarily geared towards illustrating for international comic books. In fact, Philippine illustrators earned quite a reputation for their talents and were highly demanded eventually became equally sought after as animators for some of the major film production companies in the United States, as well as animated television series produced in different countries. The concept of computer-generated works as a means of serious artistic expression gained ground among the younger generation of local artists. Today, even more the established names in the field of artists and critics alike have to come to accept and recognize digital works as fine arts. Computer or digital arts makes use of electronic and mechanical devices rather than the artist's own hand to produce the desired images and effects. Thus, these are the technology-based art form. In recent decades, Personal gadgets such as laptops, tablets, and Android phones have incorporated the artistic capabilities of the large-scale computers. So it is now possible for anyone to be a digital artist. Let's proceed to the mobile phone art. 
Mobile phone art is a kind of art that is a digital art that makes use of modern technology. It can also be called technology art because the traditional art uses traditional paint and brush in order to draw and create any kinds of art. This kind of art is popular nowadays and usage is highly appreciated by users. The mobile phone that you constantly hold has evolved from a mere communication tool into a creative device that allows you to generate original works of art for an entire range of purposes. This could be a personal photographs and videos that you can manipulate with a myriad of special effects, both visual as well as sound and music. They could also be school projects or reports that combine images, incorporate text, and even include simple animation. And the wonder of it all is you can do all of this right on your own mobile devices, particularly new generation models known as Android tablets, phones, and a combination of both called phablets. The task that traditional photo editors use to combine images, incorporate text, even include simple animation. Traditional photo editors use to perform manually. Cropping, retouching, airbrushing are now just a few of the many editing effects done for you with the split second ease. At the click of a mouse, a keyboard command, or a few taps and drags on your finger on a touch screen. Next is the computer-generated imagery. Computer-generated imagery, or also known by simply CGI, is the use of computer graphics in art and media. This can be 2D or 3D animations, objects, or renderings. The type of art or media can be a film, television program, video game, or simulation. If you want to create original images from scratch, you may make your own illustrations using specialized programs for images generation and manipulation. Example of this would be Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw. These are, however, designed to run on desktop computers and laptops, so you need to have access to these larger and more complex devices. There are scaled-down versions such as programs especially developed for the use on smaller handheld units like your personal tablet or Android phones. This enables you to perform virtually all of these tasks that a program like Illustrator performs but almost literally in the palm of your hand. Many of these come at a fraction of the cost of the more complex programs or in some cases, even for free. And last, we have digital photography. Digital photography is defined as a form of photography that uses photo detectors to form an image. The images are stored digitally as computer files ready for digital processing. In case of today's electronic technology, that would mean recording the image using a digital camera or a device with a built-in camera, like your mobile phone, Android device, or tablet. Prior to the development of digital photography, cameras were essentially sealed boxes that would allow a split-second entry of light to strike a section of light-sensitive film inside it. The result was that whatever in front of the camera, at that precise instant, that the light entered would be imprinted on the exposed section of film as photographic image. The photographer would then have to process the exposed film in a special enclosed space known as dark room, and only then would be recorded images be seen. There are a lot of types of cameras in the market. Smartphone camera, DSLR camera, point-and-shoot camera, instant camera, mirrorless camera, action camera, and more. Now, let us differentiate the digital single-lens reflex camera or DSLR camera and the point-and-shoot camera based on different criteria. 
First, the weight. The SLR camera is heavier than point-and-shoot camera. Next, we have the manipulation. The point-and-shoot camera is the easiest to manipulate, while the DSLR camera usually comes with several more controls and adjustments to achieve a perfect shot photo. Let's proceed to another criteria, the image quality. A DSLR camera typically has a much bigger sensor than a point-and-shoot camera. Typically has a sensor area that is only about 3 to 5% of a full DSLR sensor. Having a big sensor helps to get images that have much less noise and much better overall image quality. The next criterion is the depth of field. Depth of field describes how near and how far objects in a photo appear sharp and in focus. In the SLR camera, the depth of field is present by a smooth background blur for the subject to stand out. On the other hand, the point-and-shoot camera does not have it. And the last criterion is the cost or price of the camera. Due to the higher quality, inner components, and features, the SLR cameras tend to be more expensive. However, point-and-shoot cameras are cheaper to purchase and maintain. Art Warriors, let us have an activity entitled Capture the Moment. And here are the instructions. First, using your mobile phone or any available camera, take a picture of any concept you want inside your house. It could be an object, a scene, or a moment. Second, save the original photo and label it as original photo. Third, using the same photo, edit it using any photo editing mobile application and label it as edited photo. Consider the following tips in taking a picture. First, choose a good location inside your house. Second, Check the background if it suits your concept. Third, set up good lighting. You can use natural lights. Fourth, avoid taking photo against the light. And fifth, take any variety of shots so that you can choose what you think is the best. Here are the sample works and the criteria in grading your edited photo. First, creativity and craftsmanship, execution of editing photograph. Second, principles and elements of design and composition. Evidence of principles and elements of design and composition. Third, quality. Focus on the quality of the edited photo. Fourth, concept and idea. Presented the idea in a unique and novel way. The maximum points in each criterion is 5, while the minimum point is 1. Send these photos to your MAPET teachers through Facebook Messenger, Google Drive, or any platforms provided by your teacher. And now, challenge yourself in a 5-item quiz. I will read the questions and choices once. You are only given 5 seconds to write the letter of the correct answer for each question. Art Warriors, are you ready? This is the Art Pop Quiz Challenge! Let's begin with question number one. Which of the following kinds of art uses mobile phones and photo manipulating applications? A. Computer Arts B. Computer Generated Imagery C. Digital Photography D. Mobile Phone Art The correct answer is D. Mobile Phone Art Question number 2 The SLR camera is one of the most common cameras used by professional photographers. What does the SLR camera mean? A. Depth Sensor Luminosity Refraction Camera B. Digital Single Lens Reflex Camera C. Digital Sunlight Rays Camera 
the dual sided lens reflection camera. The correct answer is B, digital single lens reflex camera. Question number three. Which of the following types of camera can be used by amateur photographers because it's inexpensive and easy to manipulate? A. Bridge camera B. DSLR camera C. Mirrorless camera D. Point-and-shoot camera The correct answer is D. Point-and-shoot camera Question number 4. What do you call an art form that uses electronic photo detectors to form an image? A. Computer art B. Computer-generated imagery C. Digital photography D. Mobile phone art The correct answer is C. Digital Photography Question number 5 What art form is made with digital technology or presented on digital technology that includes images done completely on the computer or hand-drawn images scanned into a computer and finished using a software program? A. Computer Art B. Computer-Generated Imagery C. Digital Photography D. Mobile Phone Art The correct answer is A. Computer Art Well done, Art Warriors! I am happy that you were able to challenge yourself to do the pop quiz. And for the effort you do, I will give you the 4th Art Warrior Badge. How many Art Warrior Badges did you get? If you get all the Art Warrior Badges, congratulations! You may proceed now to the next level of learning. For your assignment, Art Warriors, first, look for the following definition of A. Video games B. Digital painting C. Imaging videos Second, Download an application game called Draw Your Game on Google Play Store or App Store. To sum it up, Art Warriors, digital art is a work made with digital technology presented on digital technology. This includes images done completely on computer or hand-drawn images scanned into a computer and finished using a software program. Mobile phone art is a kind of art that is a digital art that makes use of modern technology. Computer-generated imagery, or also known as CGI, is the use of computer graphics in art and media. Digital photography is defined as a form of photography that uses electronic photo detectors to form an image. Once again, this is Jericho Pontipiedra, your art teacher. And always remember, creativity is inventing, experimenting, growing, taking risks, breaking rules, making mistakes, and having fun. Stay safe, everyone. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye!